hi there friend and welcome to the fifth video of uh, this video pack so as i told you in the last episode we are going to run a test mode but before that we need to learn how we can see the statuses of uh, other people so we want to see that and uh, we need to do a lot of things so without any further ado let's get into it so what we need to do is very simple so we want to first go to uh, this page right here so we want to go to this statuses and here we want to go here so we want to go to this one right so this has to show up or to show us a list we want to do a backend call uh, for that list view here so we want to make it call the collection that is so we want to create a collection we want to see all the statuses right so we can click on confirm here we can click here so uh here so for the hello world we want so we have done we have made a backend call and for each status we have uh, the name also we have the owner so I have forgotten to actually uh, say the names or save the name of the owner in the status so we have just his ID we can say his name so I have made a new fields that one for name and one for the image of the owner so we can use it here and since we have managed we have done that we so here in the process of adding that new state here we want to save those fields which we have just added so these fields are new that you see here so for the name we want to add the name of the authenticated user since he, he is the one who is adding that status and for the image we want to save his own uh what are you are right so we want to do that so it is very simple so now we can go back to our work here in the user page and here we want for instead of saying hello hello world we want to say uh, the, the the name or the name here here it is and here instead of saying that image for the path we want to see the it's not image it is the owner image right so and when you click on this one so now we, you so b before we do that so now there are two things the first thing that we need to do is that we don't want to see our own uh, stages here. We don't want to see ourselves. So we want to say conditional action. So we want to set as condition visibility. I will say that if the owner of these stages was not me, was someone else, then I can see that. I can see it here. I say if the owner of the stages was not equal to the was not equal to me and me at speak about. The authentication user if that was true then i can see which means that the owner of this one needs to be different to uh, compare it to mine to be in order for it to be shown here to be listed here so now we have taken ourselves out of this list so for the next thing that we need to do is that we don't want to see the statuses of people that we don't we are not engaged with since this backend call is somehow general we are taking all the statuses that is means that we may see other people's statuses and this is not actually good so uh, we don't want to do that by the way we don't we don't we we need to filter them out we are going to be using a filter we are going to say that so i will say that uh, so before we i show you that keep in mind that for for each user he has an engage with so uh, he, if he is engaging with a list of people he will have them here in this list as well in in this collection so this is useful in this case you will see it's a utility if you want so we can come here and go to this one and go to edit and we can use a filter i will say that if the owner so now the filter is somehow telling you tell me the condition under which you want to see this right so i will so those that i want to see so their owner needs to be so it needs to be inside my own list which is this one he, he needs to be already engaged with me right we can confirm that is very simple now we are filtering things out and uh, so that is it we can now go and but there is one thing that we need to do before we go and test things so if you saw that someone has a status right so you may want to maybe see a circle around this which means that you may want to wrap it inside a, a stack and with that stack you may want to add a container that is going to be a circle right and it needs to be behind the image so to see 
now you don't see because the color was white and you can see this one so uh, you see it is ugly you can select the stack go here and select this default chain alignment now we can make this or this one smaller or this one bigger so we want to say so here you see the diameter of the image is 70 and it has some paddings so we can delete those paddings you can delete them if you like or you can keep it keep them they have no effect so for the diameter of this one so if this was 70 then the other one has to be like 85 or 80 so 80, 80 should be a good thing or maybe 75 so this one is good so for each one we we have a circle that is that was very simple but there is one thing that we haven't managed to do so if we saw that jack for example has a status so we are going to click here and we need to go to a page where we are going to be seeing uh, that specific status right so we are going to add another page that is called status so i have just created a very a blank uh, uh, page so here i just want to set to actually say two things first thing i want to get back the app bar and i go i can go here and uh, uh, just search for uh, something like uh, so you can search for click on the app bar and default button back button icon to take us back it is uh, this has to so we are going to see what it uh, what this actually does right so uh, here we want to see two things we just want to see the image and the title so uh, it may it may looks very ugly but we are going to fix all this stuff don't worry guys everything should be sh will actually be very good and now just i want you guys to learn the basics and for the other things they are going to come so when the when the time is right so here for this one we want to say 30 and uh, for this one so uh, uh that is it so for for hello world so now we so what do you want is we, if we click it here so first things first we want to just add a parameter here uh, for this page so we, because here we are going to, so in this page we are going to take the image of that stages as well as the, the title of that stages and here we want to say the name of the owner of that stages right so to do all those things to be make it simple we can just add one thing that is called owner id that is what we are going to be adding right and the owner id is a document reference from the user because the owner is a user we can confirm that and here we can come back here to this one and if we click on this whole uh, uh, this container if we click on that then we need to navigate to uh, the page that is called stages and in if we navigate then sorry so if we have navigated to that page we need to pass that right so we need to pass that owner id so the owner we are going to take it from this one and paste it to the other to the, to the other page so here the owner here here it is and now since we have passed the parameter we can we can go back to status right and now we can use that one parameter that we have used and take the data pull it back to, to pull it from the firebase and show it here to do so we want to go to the status and we want to go to this one when i go to the backend query we will take the data of that specific status we want to so use a document from reference we will only need one document from the status and the reference is the parameter that we have just used so uh, that is going to be so there is a problem because that was not so i have made a mistake because the parameter needs to be like the status uh, sorry for this mistake because we need, don't need the owner we need the status and it is from the status here and we can go back and fix our mistake uh, from uh, this page in the navigation process it was uh, in the container here so we can fix it we can go come here and add the other one which is status id we want to take the id it is very simple it is here the status reference yes so now we can go to that page without any, having any, any problem so now if we come here and if we for example let's say so uh, so for this page totally want to say you see here that uh, i need to first 
go back here and do the backend call because I want to call the data of these specific stages, right? I want to do a backend call from reference. I want to call a stages and I want to use this one. You see stages reference. And now we have made the call. Now the things that are inside this page can actually take their data from that back from that document. This one will take, you see here, it will take that the owner name. This one has to take or the path of that has to take uh, the image here it is and this one has to take uh, uh, it's gonna be it's weird but it's gonna be it's going to be taking the text and that is it guys we have managed to do a very good job now let's move on i first need to recompile this again and i will meet you on the next step when we are going to where we are going to be trying this and seeing what we got so finally guys now we can actually try to add the stages and see it as uh, uh, at the meantime so we can click here add the stages we can add let's say we can add an image of this and we can say let's say we can actually add this is my new image we can add that stages right there so now I have actually added that status and it somehow it's not working because it has to actually dismiss this. So uh, let me first go to my database and see if that status was created. And if it wasn't actually created, then uh, the, uh, the solution is going to be very simple. So first thing, go to YouTube and then we can actually go to the database and see uh, if that was created or not it, uh, i hope it's going to be actually created so it wasn't created so uh for that so we may want to actually create a brand new collection for them so uh we can first so do the first thing to do is to go and check out the firebase uh, uh rules here so you see they are out of date and since we have added a new thing so they are out of date now if i have if i deploy these rules here so they are going to be deployed right now and if i went back to this page and if i tried to add something like or the same thing here and we can add my new image we can add that stages and i hope you see that now it is working if i want to stages i will not see anything because Leo or me is the only one who made that stages but if I log it in as someone else then I will be seeing the stages of Leo this time right let's log in as Jack or John sorry I thought it was Jack but John so now we are logged in as John now let's see the stages so here you saw that Leo has already a stages we can go here and see his stages he put his new image we can go back we can also add our own we can add our own uh, uh, stages and the other one can see it right so now that is it for you for you guys i hope that you have actually enjoyed every single second you have spent uh, learning from this video and the upcoming videos are going to be much more better and we are so close to fi uh, to finish this uh, project i hope that you are learning m some valuable things from what you what you what you get from me and if you have any question or request or problem that you are facing um, on my coffee you can send me a message to my coffee page so i can help you with your situation and with that said thank you so much guys for watching and see you on the next video